you from Ukraine about what the Ukrainian util intelligence service says was a Russian plot to assassinate President Zelensky. Remy Innocencio is in the Ukrainian city of Odessa with details. Remy, this sounds very serious. Good morning to you. Gail, good morning. That's right. Now we are hearing a possible assassination attempt on President Zelensky. Uh, this is coming from Ukraine security services. They released a headshot of a local Ukrainian woman gathering intelligence, as they say, for a Russian airstrike on Mykolaiv. That city is only about 80 miles east from where we are right now. She was looking for the schedule for the president, uh, for the location of electronic warfare systems and ammunition depots. That informant, we understand, was detained, arrested after she uh, tried to pass on that intel to her handlers. And this news comes after a weekend of multi-wave attacks from Russia. Ukraine's Air Force said at least 10 of Russia's 70 missiles and drones evaded its defenses, slamming into this blood transfusion center and a grain silo and military airfield. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky, inspecting U.S. Patriot missiles and other Western munitions, pledged to make the so-called Sky Shield stronger with more Western support. Natalia Humeniuk is spokesperson for Ukraine's southern military. I get angry. The world does not understand this needs to be stopped quickly, together and decisively. Every time Russia is attacked, Russia strikes back. One needs to remember Russia hit first. Our strikes are for the exhaustion of a powerful, dangerous enemy. Russia's major weekend assaults are likely a reaction to two sea drone attacks on this vessel Friday, believed to be a Russian warship, Another Saturday, reportedly a Russian oil tanker. Black Sea ports and infrastructure have become the new targets, Russia hitting three in the past three weeks, including the main port of Odessa. No peace here in Odessa, across the Black Sea or across Ukraine. Tony.